everyone, my name is Marissa and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a suggested video from my new subscriber, Mylin Fam. Hi, and thank you so much for suggesting this video. I'm going to be doing my everyday drugstore foundation routine as well as eyebrows because that's what she asked for and I'm happy to do it for her. So let's get going. On an everyday basis, I have two favorite primers and they're actually both from the drugstore. Well, one's Target, which I consider a drugstore because there's a pharmacy in it and they have drugstore items. This is the Pixie Flawless Beauty Primer. I've talked about this in the past two videos, so I'm just going to link those two down below and you can see what I say about it because it's fast becoming one of my favorite beauty products of all time. And then I also like the Magic Lumi Light Infusing Primer, which I used so much before I started using the Pixi Primer. So this one's more of a pearlescent base, which I like better for wintertime. And then this one has a glowy bronzy base and it's currently summer, so I'm going to be using this one. Put it all over my face. This one gives a really lovely sheen, so it's not exactly one of those highlighting primers that you spot kind of place strategically. But if you can see right now, my face is just its just so much more glowier and it's a different color from my hand. So everything's feeling good. This one's a little bit tacky, but it's also really hydrating for the skin. So I find that it just helps my makeup go on even smoother. It helps it stay on longer. And then I find also I tend to get dry patches around my nose towards the end of the day. And that helps to alleviate that. Healthy Mix Serum by Bourgeois. This is actually really similar, I find, to the Chanel V de Lumiere Aqua. I just really, really like it. It's super light, um, just like that. It's actually probably the same thickness as the True Match Lumi foundation, but when it goes on, it's just a lot lighter, if that makes sense. I would say it's a coverage that goes between the L'Oreal Nude Magique Eau de Town that I was talking about and the L'Oreal True to match Lumi. It's just kind of in between. Um, so a tip that I learned from Lisa Eldridge from watching her videos is you want to make it look more natural and the way that you can make your foundation look a lot more natural is just by emphasizing coverage over the spots that you find have the most redness or the most unevenness and then lightly going over the, sp the areas that you are happy with and that you don't think need too much coverage and that will make it look a lot less like a like flesh colored mask on your face and it'll just be more of an enhancement other than something that conceals if that makes sense so before this sinks into my brush let's get going so i get my most redness around the nose on the actual nose on the forehead and around the chin and around the top of my mouth so i do that kind of tribal war look and then I just sort of buff. So downward strokes is a really good idea because if you have hairs, and most people have fine little hairs on their face, um, if you go upwards, it'll push the hair against the grain and it'll sort of stand up and then fold back onto your skin. And that makes it look both uneven and it can also catch foundation underneath and say if you have some hairs around your lip or um, along the side of your face, both of which I have, um, it'll start to look like you have a mustache and sideburns. So try not to do that. So I'm not going to really edit too much out of how long I take to buff because it usually takes a good minute, I would say, when I'm really perfecting for the camera, but on a regular day, it's just kind of fingers blend until it looks less streaky and then I go. Another tip I learned this is from Charlotte Tilbury, is you really want to get it closer to your ears to make sure that it doesn't stop right here. We have a tendency since our hairline towards our forehead is here not to go further back. Also make sure to blend down your neck. I showed my hand earlier. My hand looks a lot more like my face now than the redness that I had on my face earlier and the bronzy-ish color. So now all I have left is sort of a glow from the primer. I like to do is just take a little bit on this is the Charlotte Tilbury powder and sculpt brush that I'm obsessed with and you just want to powder where you'll get kind of oily in your t-zone this is called precision powdering and just dabbing a little bit 
You don't want to get too much or else it's going to look cakey. Around the nose, chin. I don't know about you guys, but in the summer, this area receives a lot of moisture action. And then forehead. When I was younger, I had really oily skin and I would get oily, like immediately. <laughs> so I would have to do my entire face. So don't be afraid to powder all over your face if you are oily. And maybe if you have dry skin, you don't need to powder. Um, it really, really depends on your skin type. But for me, combination oily, this is what I do. So I'm not trying to brag in any way, but I don't really conceal any spots around my face too often. I don't know why, but one that I found that's really good is this True Match by L'Oreal Super Blendable Crayon Concealer. Basically this one's a really dry concealer that is really thick and will stick, and I think that this one will be really great for covering up actual pimples. So for the sake of conceptual symmetry, I'm just going to go in around here. I had a few little under the skin sort of spots, and I'm just going to dab. You really don't need too much. And then you sort of blend it in with your finger. So there we go. Like I said, I don't really use too much to spot concealer on my face, but this one I would really recommend. It's really good, and I also like that it's got this sort of chubby stick, twist up sort of packaging. The one that I really like that's really gross now, I'm going to take the cap off because the cap is disgusting, but it's the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Anti-Dark Circle Concealer. This one, dab under your eyes. The great thing about this one in particular is because of the sponge, you can't overdo it and it's not going to cake. So I like to just pat around the orbital bone. Then I just like to use my ring finger because that is the finger that is the weakest and patting it all in. Really quickly, I want to emphasize that for every day, the idea of foundation is it's the first step, it's the foundation to your makeup routine. You don't want to be piling it on so that it sort of covers everything. That's the point of concealer. So concealer is obviously a lot more pigmented, that's why you buy it in a smaller packaging, and it just that's what you use to sort of spot treat all of the different areas. As I said, don't try to bring it up too far close to the lash line because it'll make this sort of gaunt look to your face and it'll make your eyes look immediately smaller. You still want a little bit of shadow that projects the wideness of your eyes, if that makes sense. And um, yeah, so this one is, yeah, it's, it's dark circles, but I'm just gonna take a little bit on the sides of my nose here. You just tap the smallest amount in your compact, dab, and you're done. That's all. All you want to do is get the powder to set a little bit of the moisture, but you don't want it to completely take it all away because that's what gives you the evenness under your eyes. Done. Okay, so the next thing I always do on my face before I do any of the crazy creative eye or lip or cheek contouring whatever is I put on my eyebrows and I think eyebrows are so 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 important they frame the face they kind of set the stage for the rest of your look and I just think it's important to start with eyebrows hi so I'm back and I'm zoomed in I'm gonna so, take the Real Techniques brow brush with the Max Charcoal Brown that I showed you and I'm just going to take the end match the slanted tip to the slope of your brow and fill in the areas at the arch first. If you can see, my natural eyebrows are, they have a good enough shape to them, but they're missing some areas. Like I would like always the front of the brow here, the front end, to be a lot thicker and fuller and then if you can see here if I brush like this I have long eyebrow hairs but not too many so I like to fill it in towards the skin so it just looks like it's fuller and I just follow the arch of the eyebrow like so then I like to start to go into the actual 
sort of front end of the brow and I'll just lightly, you can see not much color is being built up but it's so much easier to put on little by little at a time and then build it up instead of sort of just getting stuck with like tons of color. <laughs> okay, so next ones. And I'm doing this actually purposefully slow just to really show you what I'm doing but normally eyebrows takes me about a minute. So filling in the arch. Okay, so, and then this one here is a lot thicker uniformly and this one's thinner. So what I like to do is add a little bit more right here. If you already did um, put foundation all over your eyebrows, to just take the spoolie first before you start applying the color to your eyebrows. For really natural eyebrows, this is the best thing you can do for them because it really sort of feathers out the color around the exposed hair root, if that makes sense. But then I can also use my Benefit Gimme Brow. I don't have the Maybelline one that I use right now, but it's called the Maybelline Brow Studio and it also has sort of a pretty similar idea. This is a tiny little wand, the Maybelline one is more rounded, but it has a pigment in it. This one's supposed to be a fiber gel, but I just take it on the arch because I have quite long eyebrow hairs. Long and not thick. It's like the opposite of what anyone wants, right? <laughs> so I just comb through the arches to set it. I really like this foundation. It's I find it's fairly true to my skin tone. If you're interested in seeing how I do the rest of my makeup for every day, watch for the next video which I'm going to be posting. I'll actually link that down below as well if you're watching a little later on. Make sure you subscribe to my videos so you don't miss the update. I'm doing all beauty videos that anybody asks for so make sure if you want me to do any sort of video just ask down below in the comments. Also just leave me a comment telling me if you like this video, if you didn't, but please keep it nice if you didn't. <laughs> Also, send me a like if you like this video because I really like doing this sort of thing. I hope you guys are having a great day and I will see you next time. Bye!